Jacobson, artsy fartsy life. So today we are gonna do something fun. We're gonna mix paint and we are mixing green, how to make green. And we're gonna start with just a straight um, green that is lime green. And I printed off the how-to guide, how to make lime green, and I wrote it out in English because I am not the kind of gal that can figure out all kinds of formulas. I'm not mathy at all. So the lime color is three quarters yellow, one quarter blue. So I went and got cheap, cheap, cheap paint at Walmart. And we're gonna make this three quarters yellow and one quarter blue. That looks about right. And we're gonna see if that makes lime green. We're gonna mix this up, get all our yellow paint in there. That's looking a little bit limey, but I think I may have put a little too much blue in. So we're gonna put a bunch more yellow in. Don't worry, this is my craft mat, so. Oh, there we go. I'm feeling like this is way more limey. And this is cyan and yellow. So this is lime green. And that is pretty much lime green. I like that it's bright. I almost would like it to be so this is where you go, and don't worry, I'm not gonna waste my paint. I have this journal I'm working on that I need some background colors for. So I'm gonna try this out. I hope you can see this. I'm gonna, oh my goodness, that looks great lime green on the page. So I am totally fine with that being my lime green. Excellent. But the, the cool thing when you're mixing your own paints, when you just have your standard colors and then you mix them. So let's, uh, I've got all fancy. I got you new, new bottles for the other ones, but I have um, just my old other paints. So what you can do is there is what's called a shade and a tint. So when you shade something, you add black to it, and when you tint it, you add white to it. And a tone would be if we added black and white, we could probably do that, but then we're gonna see how this looks. And that, when it dries, will be a lighter shade of lime green than the one we made the first time because we added some white to it, which is awesome. This is my tabs. I made a whole bunch of tabs for this journal, so I'm getting all fancy with it. All right, well, I like that very much. Okay, so if we wanted to make a tone, we would add a little bit of black also into it, and it's gonna make it, I don't always love tones, I'm willing to do it for you, but it's gonna make it a little bit muddier looking than if you were to add just straight black or you were to add um, just straight white. So this is gonna be, I'm gonna have to move this over probably. I don't wanna get my journal into the yellow, but we're gonna do this. And this is gonna be just a little bit darker tone. Than the other two. And that way we have a really cool bunch of different lime green colors in there. And you can see this is a little bit lighter. This is a little bit darker or a little bit lighter up in here. And then this is a little bit darker. Okay, we're gonna set this aside and we're gonna wipe off as you can see from my work board, I'm not very fussy about having paint on it. Okay, so next we're going to make some fun colors using the how-to guide. First, we're gonna make green, and then we're gonna make dark forest green, and then we're gonna make olive green. 
because you can do that as you go. So if we're gonna make just green, and most of you know green is a primary color. Green is made out of two primary colors. Green is half yellow, half red, or half blue. Crazy talk. All right, so I got you even out some fresh new paint brushes, but I don't know if I'm gonna use them. So if we mix these two together, we're gonna get a true green color, right? Because that's just half blue and half yellow. And it just takes a second to do. So if you can get used to doing this, this is what I do. Uh, instead of having a million colors of paint, I would rather have a few colors of paint and then be able to make background colors that I like. So let's go ahead and we're going to put this on my journal page. And this is going to be a green journal page. So you can see that is just plain Jane green, right? All right, so next we're going to look at our little list. And we see that deep forest green is half yellow, half blue, some red, and some black. Now, this is where it gets crazy because you think, wow, I never thought that to make a green color, I would put red into it. But we're going to put equal parts of red and black, which will make it a shade, right? And then we're going to mix it up real good. And right now, the red is kind of overtaking it. But once we get this mixed in and mixed up real good, we'll be able to see that that is just forest green. And you can't see that red in there at all once it's all mixed up. Crazy, right? It's kind of fun. Okay, so that's just forest green. But then we have our paper here that says if we wanted to make olive green, it's half yellow, a fourth blue, some red, and a tiny bit of black. So. If, we, if that's that color, then we just need to make this olive green. We just need to add some more yellow. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, that's the sound I make in my head. Usually nobody hears it. But that's the sound I make in my head when I mix paint. And as you will see... This is going to make what my son calls army green, right? So down here, we have army green. That's a really cool color. And I am super excited. So what this is really good for is if you like that really cool ombre effect or say you don't have... Um, room for all the paint colors or you don't want to have to buy all the paint colors you can just go to your little stash have three colors four colors five colors with white and black um, and be able to mix any color that you want in the rainbow or even not in the rainbow with just mixing colors so that is how you make different colors of green now I have a whole blog post about this as well as having a um, uh, this video, I show you how to make all different colors of purple, and I show you how to make all different colors of orange. So make sure to look for that. I will link those three blog posts in the description. Hopefully this helps. Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life.